I'm Mark, and I'm going to show you how to make my homemade laundry detergent. Uh, basically, everybody's been asking me what I've been using, so I figured I'd put the video together and show you what my formula is, because there's thousands of them out there, and you can experiment with your own, but I'm going to try and make it plain and simple so you can understand it. It's not that hard. I've got a bar of Pell Snaffa soap. I put the whole bar, I grated it up, stuck it in a pot with four cups of water. You turn it on to just shy of boiling heavy, and you melt all the lumps. And once all the lumps are melted, I'll show you what the next step is, but it's not that hard. You can use zote soap, ivory soap. You just don't want to use anything that's a detergent. You want to try and use real soap. All right, let me shut this off, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, next up, we have some 20 Mule Team Borax Powder and Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. Uh, it's not baking soda. It's similar, but you could take baking soda and put it in the oven for about, oh, I think it's 450 degrees for about half an hour till it loses its shine. And then you basically have made super washing soda. Or you can just buy it like this at Walmart. Uh, a lot of people, I put them both in together, but I put one cup of the washing soda in here. And then I put three quarters of a cup of the Borax uh, 20 Mule Team Powder. The difference is some people say one cup and one cup or one cup and half a cup of Borax. But I found that one cup and three quarter cup of the Borax works fine. Then I've taken the hot mixture and I poured it into the bucket. Now we're going to go ahead and add this in. And we're going to stir that one up. It all dissolve in there, and then we're going to add some more water to it in just a second. Let me go ahead and stir this up. Okay, you can see I dumped in another gallon of hot water. I like to use boiling water because I like to make sure it's thoroughly dissolved. A lot of people say just use hot tap water, but for that first gallon added to the original four cups, I like to use boiling hot water. You can see it's getting thoroughly dissolved. There's not going to be any trace of powder or soap left. After this, we can add tap water. It's foaming now because there's a lot of soap in there, but when you go to use it in the uh, washing machine, you're not going to find those suds. It's a low suds formula. It's great for HE machines, and uh, you're going to find it get your clothes super clean without all the chemicals and perfumes that you get in the store bought brands and for a lot less money. Okay, I added another, I'd say about a gallon and a half. You can see it's probably about five inches from the top. I don't like to get it too full. I'm going to put a plastic, basically saran wrap on top of it and let it set overnight for 24 hours. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like after that. But you can see it got a nice soap color to it now. Okay, it's been 24 hours. Let's peel off the plastic. See what it looks like. Ta-da! Now see, it looks like a gel. Thick. It's, good. it's all done. It's not just the top. It's the whole thing. Now we're going to mix this up a little bit. I could do this with a spoon. Mix it all up that way. You see there's still water in the side of the bucket, see it? Because when it's separated, that's why we got the lumps. 
foot. I don't like the spoon method. Because I'm a guy. Guys use power tools. I have a mixture that goes into a drill. Cordless. I'm going to put that down in there. Oh, that's a lot, man. Look at that. Just as I finish, it's unscrewed. Spoon, you see, we got the consistency that we wanted. Like I said, this is about four gallons. You can see if I hold this up, it's a little glumpy there. That's okay, because that'll dissolve. After the initial gelling is done, it'll start to soak up that water. And I still like to shake it up just before using the wash machine. This is concentrated. You can use half a cup. What I like to do is I'll further dilute it. I'll fill up a one gallon jug about halfway and then I'll fill it up the rest of the way with water and shake it up. That way it really works out well. It's not clumpy at all. And in that case you'll use one cup because you just doubled it. Alright, now another thing Essential oils. Turn it for the light. It's French lavender. Doesn't take a lot. You don't really need to add it, but the essential oils isn't a perfume, it's actual 100% oil. You can also add tea tree oil if it's going to be there for a long, long time because of its antibacterial qualities. Not that it hangs around my house long enough to sit around two or three years without being used. It doesn't take a lot. I'd say it was probably about 20 drops. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix that up again. Okay, you can see it's all mixed up. It smells like French lavender. We're there. All I got to do now is put it in my jugs. All right, I'm going to tell you that if you have a lot of whites. A lot of people, when they mix this up, they put a little OxyClean in there. When, you, when I added the uh, Boric, Borax powder and the uh, Super Washing Soda at that stage, you can also add like half a cup of the OxyClean. But I never needed to do that. This stuff seems to clean my clothes pretty good. Socks that I had for over a year that were white, I'd washed a million times with Tide. First time I made this up and washed them, they came out white the first time. So, there you have it. Now you can make your own laundry detergent. Have fun.